students. Today we are talking about Chinese dragons based on the Chinese mythology and folklore. So not just fantastical or stereotypical dragons, but these specific ones. Mm -hmm. You'll notice while I'm sharing these slides that there are a lot of names of very specific Chinese dragons. You don't need to worry about the names, but you do want to think about the themes and styles that go along with our dragons. So let's jump into it. Chinese dragons are legendary creatures in Chinese mythology and folklore. The dragons have many animal-like forms that include turtles, fish, imaginary creatures, but they're most commonly depicted as snake-like with four legs. According to Chinese mythology and yin and yang terminology, a dragon is yang and complements a yin that is the Chinese phoenix. Chinese dragons traditionally symbolize potent and auspicious powers, particularly control over water, rain, typhoons, floods. The dragon is a symbol of power, strength, and good luck. Historically, the dragon was the symbol of the emperor of China. In the Zhao dynasty, the five-clawed dragon was assigned to the son of heaven, the four-clawed dragon to the nobles, and the three-clawed dragon to the ministers. So the number of claws being depicted on a dragon can help you determine who's being referenced. In the Qin dynasty, the five-clawed dragon was assigned to represent the emperor, whereas the four-clawed and three-clawed dragons were assigned to the commoners. So it depends also on the dynasty that you're talking about. The dragon is in the Qin dynasty's national flag, which is very cool. And it's very, very important to um, these people as a symbol of power. So from its origins, the dragon was used as a totem or a stylized depiction of other natural creatures, and then it ended up becoming a mythical animal. People tend to paint the dragon's shape with a horse head and snake tail. However, they do sometimes have antlers like that of a stag or the head of a camel, the eyes of a demon, the neck of a snake, the belly of a clam, scales of a carp, claws of an eagle. There's so many attributes that go into creating something dragon-like. So it's really, really important that when you are illustrating your dragon, that you take your time to catch, capture a lot of these details. Even more fascinating is that Chinese dragons were considered to be physically concise with the number of scales on their body. So they supposedly had exactly 117 scales 81 of them were supposedly yang and 36 were yin. So initially the dragon was supposed to be a benevolent, wise and just creature. Um, and then over time it became something a little bit more vicious and related to power. Dragons many times are chasing or holding a flaming pearl in the Qing dynasty. Many pictures of oriental dragons show the pearl in their claws or under their chin, and the pearl is associated with spiritual energy, wisdom, prosperity, immortality, and the moon. Very cool. Also know that you do not have to include wings on your dragon. That is optional because it's a mystical and not real, frankly, animal. It's not necessary for you to include wings for your dragon to be able to fly. The other important thing to keep in mind is that Chinese dragons are strongly associated with the water. So they're believed to be rulers of waterfalls, rivers, and seas. If you decide to depict a dragon in water, you're more than welcome to do so. It cannot even be underwater. Something important to keep in mind is that it's considered to be bad luck to depict a dragon facing downwards. So make sure, if you want good luck, to draw your dragon facing up and not down. All right, we're gonna get into the types of dragons. Once again, the names that I'm about to say, well, first of all, I'm probably gonna butcher them because I don't know any Chinese. So I'm gonna apologize in advance for all of my mispronunciations. And also the names aren't too important. Uh, so let's focus more on the themes and some of the interesting attributes that you can give your dragons. So first up, is Tianlong, the celestial dragon that guards heavenly places and pulls divine chariots. How cool is that? Secondly is Shenlong, the thunder god that controls the weather and has a dragon's body, but sometimes a human face. Creepy. Fu Kang Long is the underworld guardian of precious metals and jewels, sometimes associated with volcanoes. Very cool. 
Ying Long is a winged dragon associated with rains and floods. Notice it's feathered wings, so it's much more bird-like. Huang Long is a hornless dragon symbolizing the emperor. And Fei Long is a, a winged dragon that rides on clouds and mist. Notice that this one has really big horns, more like a stag. Qing Long, the animal associated with the eastern sky in the Chinese four symbols, is a mythological creature of Chinese constellations, so star related, which is very cool. And Zhu Long was a great red draconic solar deity in Chinese mythology. Um, he also sometimes was said to have a human face and notice all the really cool fire. So thinking about these, looking back on them quickly, Know that attributes you can give your animal are related to water, fire, or sky. You can go star themed, you can go cloud themed, you can have wings, you can include feathers, you can have scales, you can have them in a volcano. You can do basically anything you can dream up for your theme. I would like for your dragon to be special and unique and have lots of details. So you're not going to draw a worm. You're going to draw a beautiful dragon. To accomplish that, I have hopefully already in Zoom instructed you on some of the basics on how to construct your dragons. If not, I'll be doing so very, very soon. And this page right here is probably where you're going to be pausing the video. So what you are seeing are some really, really nice basic construction tips for drawing your dragon. On the bottom right, you have the main long body and a description of how two legs are going to go in front of your body and two legs are going to go behind. I'm also gonna give you tips on how to construct the head, how to include wings if you want to include wings, and you must include at least four legs with claws on your body. So good luck. <laughs> It's a lot of drawing for this project. We will not be using color, so you don't need to worry about that. I want for you to take a lot of time drawing lots of detail on your beautiful dragon. Don't forget to include a simple but pretty background so that he exists in an environment. And you have multiple days to complete this project just like the others, so please do not rush. I'll be checking in with you guys soon and have fun drawing your dragons.